I'm sorry, I just couldn't. <laughs> I love the chords you were playing. I just had to, you know, give it some, give it some Wellington. Well, uh, you know, obviously, uh, welcome back to another one of these videos where today the lovely people uh, at EVH, Charvel, and Jackson are taking over the Anderton social media channels to answer all your questions about the guitars that they're releasing in 2021. There you go. Uh, and obviously. Uh, Pete and Rabir have been sort of ably doing some of these high performance shred-tastic guitars, but then it got to EVH and they just thought, mm, we've got ah. to step it up a bit here. Who can yeah. we call on? <laughs> <laughs> and that's or our prayers were answered. Pete just went, I'm not doing any more videos today. Uh, and uh, so that's it. I'm done. So, yeah. yeah. So basically here we are with um, EVH and the theme. May he rest in peace. May he rest in peace. Absolutely. Uh, taken too early. Um, but the theme for 2021 is there are lots of guitars coming from these brands and, and we have just a, what do you call it, like a, just a little taster, a, yeah. a, a, a sous-son, what's it called? I don't know, anyway. Um, the uh, guitars will be coming on your screen now and there are lots in the Wolfgang shape uh, across you know, various different models and prices mm -hmm. uh, and then of course we're seeing a few more of these very cool 5150s which hark back to the kind of guitar that Eddie would have played in his sort of Kramer days. There you go. Um, do you want to take us through uh, what you've got there, Mr. B? I certainly do. This, Lee, is the Wolfgang Special. It is. Wolfgang named after Eddie's it, son. And what makes it special? What makes it special? There's a couple of things. Firstly, we've got a baked maple uh, neck and fretboard. Nice. Uh, Floyd Rose, top loaded with the D-tuner. Yep. Which is really nice. These are the Wolfgang pickups, I believe. They are. Wolfgang voiced pickups. Uh, we've got a low friction volume pot and a high friction tone pot. I've never seen that before. So you get the best of both worlds. See, watch this. So here's the low friction one. Oh, that, that burned see that? What, like less than half a calorie. Yeah, moving see? That. And then the tone pot. And What's then the that? tone pot. That's Wait more for it. like, oh, that was almost, that's probably a whole yeah. calorie you burned having to so, move Yeah, that you've one. got the best of both, which is great. D tuner. Spelt with a T. Did he invent that? I think it was his thing. I think it was kind of his vibe to do mm. that. Because obviously he would chop and change his guitars all the time. And yeah, it was, I've only ever seen the D2 in a device as an EVH branded thing. Yeah. because And people I, refer sort of, to it as EVH D tuner. I think, you know, although for many people and probably particularly people who are maybe a bit older than I am and would have been maybe in their sort of teens and 20s, in the sort of late 70s and early 80s. Mm -hmm. Van Halen was obviously, a, you know, he hit the scene and I, I suppose he probably did to electric guitar maybe a bit like Jimi Hendrix did in the sort of, you know, late 60s or whatever. And then it was, some, it was yeah. crazy. Um, but I also think as well, he's, he's, uh, he was quite the pioneer when it came to gear in a way that not many guitar players do. So I think, you know, lots of things like the direct mount pickups mm -hmm. was something that he was convinced sounded different. Because of the resonance of a, the... Yeah, so instead of mounting them oh, to I a pickup ring or, or a scratch plate, he was the guy. I said the D-tuner, and even the idea of the Floyd Rose where it doesn't 
go back. That was very much a, his thing. And although, again, in the in the early days, he would have played super strats like this, you know, once he started doing his Music Man mm -hmm. thing, it was very much, you know, coming up with his own shape and his own neck profiles and stuff. And, of course, it's really amp, interesting. You know, the, the guy was a... I mean, the amp thing's funny. Like that. Because I didn't know, and, I mean, this is just the fact that I was a fan of the people that in, he inspired, so Nuno, mm. right? So I had no idea that the 5150 was A, Eddie's signature amp, and B, the name of the album. Mm. I had no idea. Being one of those like really well, badly I, educated in the world of like shred guitar. Like I, I think that's fair enough. You know, I didn't know. It, it, it's I just like, knew 5150 as the metal amp. Yeah, and, and I'm just trying to think of other similar, you know, I, I wonder, well, do you know what? The Les Paul. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's a great example. How many, how many people go, oh yeah, what, Les Paul's signature guitar, as opposed to the guitar that Slash plays. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, or, yeah. Or, or name a million other For artists. sure. Um, but, so, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, I think, you know, respect to, to Eddie as a, as a, you know, as a pioneer, as a player, but also as a, you know, as someone that really understood guitars. I, I remember a great story once that came out of EVH about designing um, the original Wolfgang Humbucker. Right. And he had it wound and, and had it fitted and da, da da And then subsequently, just over some crazy period of time, like a year, whatever, he was just like, no, it needs a bit more of this, a bit less that, you know, went through a dozen different prototypes, did a rewind, until in the end, the, the guy winding the pickup just went, I don't, I don't know what to do anymore here. I'm just going to send him the first one, the original one again. And he's like, that's the one, it's perfect. So, <laughs> yeah. but I, sometimes I can sort of get that. I think you just, you know, you don't know what you're going to like until you've heard loads of variants. Yeah. And then, anyway, that's a beautiful looking guitar. It is. So before I get into tones, this as well, just to say, this is the Grey Burst Arch Top, which is different to yours. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the, the standard is a slab top. Mm -hmm. But you can also get this in a blue, like a solid blue. with Miami a Miami blue. Yeah. With a ebony fretboard, I believe. Yes. And you can also get like a blue burst, sort of similar to this, but in a blue. Very nice. So Let's anyway. Some tones, Mr. Here we go. Mr. Rabir. I'm running the EVH5150 3 6L650 watt head. And I've got some special UA goodness on the floor, which I'm sure you all know about by now. But anyway, clean channel. <laughs> Sounds really nice, that's middle position. That was neck and then bridge. Um, so yeah, that's all the clean tones, so I may as well just go straight over to the game because that's why we're all here. Key I was playing Mr. for a second. B. What's that <laughs> first chord that you play that's like the E but with an extended something on it? The very you play it a lot of the time when you're about to start straight you go, mm, but it's it looks like just a just that. You might when I go when, when I go. <laughs> yeah, so that is yeah. is literally just playing your E minor. But I use my index finger to mute the G string. So that's it, you're just muting the G, but it gives it a totally different kind of yeah, it gets Sound. rid of the minor. It just sounds fat. Or you could you could use your little finger on the fourth fret G string and play. So it's either or and with distortion. There you go, everybody. You learn something new every day. <laughs> it's a great feeling guitar, I must admit. I was gonna say, like this I think I appreciate the satin finish neck. Yes. It yeah, makes it a lot lot faster. Played in. Right. Compound radius, which is where the fretboard is more curved here and flatter up here. Who knew?
Okay, so this model is its kind of like younger brother, uh, certainly more affordable brother. So this is the Wolfgang Standard. Um, there's not a million uh, amounts of differences between the two, although although the guitar does come out about half the price. <laughs> right. So I'm guessing it's probably a different factory as well. But we've then we've got the baked maple neck. Um, we've got um, a Floyd, EVH Floyd here, uh, Floyd Rose here. Again, the same idea, it won't go backwards. But I don't have the D tuner anymore. Mm. Uh, I've still got the direct mount Wolfgang humbuckers and I just have normal volume pots now, uh, volume and tone pots. Um, and did I say it? it's not an arch top? Did I say Yeah, it? slab I top. Okay, yeah. slab top. Um, and again, this has got a couple of different um, versions of the standard. You've got some gloss finish flamey tops, so that it'll be you know, a bit more like that. And you've got a couple of these exotic um, topped ones, which are completely satin. Uh, the, the, the options on the top here, you get a couple. One is Koa and one is Bacote. Um, or Bacote. Bacote, boy, Boycotti. Boycott. Boy, Jeff, Jeff Boycotti. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. If you're English and very old, that might uh, amuse you. Is that Koa then? Um, yes, this is Koa because you've got that little bit of natural flame in it. Yeah. And uh, the darker one is the Jeff Boycotti. Right, or whatever I see. I'm going to try and play that chord that you played, Rabir. Go for uh, it. Yes, mate. So, uh, tones-wise, um, I have got this very angry-sounding little Lunchbox 5150 Mark III here, which I think is, the, is it the 15 watt one or something like that? Mm. Um, it's clean with a little bit of reverb. disconcerting the old Floyd Rose that doesn't go backwards isn't it yeah I think it's not a tremolo system there to go to for tremolo it's is an it? acquired it's a dive bombing thang isn't it really sort of uh... Nice amount of bite to them. Yeah, it's it's a nice guitar to play. Um, you can it, tell the pickups are good because you can hear the tone of them through mm, all that gain. This when is you nice. switch to the neck, you don't. I mean, it's not necessarily something that you really think about, but actually, you know, it's nicely carved to just sort of make it comfy to sit with your your forearm on the guitar here. Yeah. Um, so it's got very compact sort of body design. It means the guitar's quite light, light even. It's it's a really small headstock. I can't sort of. Um, I don't know. It's got like a it's got like a handy tin opener here, hasn't it? At the end, like, just, <laughs> I've always thought they were slightly too small for my taste. Yeah, it's. I mean, but then the, the sort of the the um, Music Man headstock is a small headstock as well. But look, I tell you, it's 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 all you know, each to his own and everything. Yeah, but like also that. if you don't like a small headstock, you can get an oversized big headstock here with the with sort of well, cr and vibes on that going on. note, so here we go. Uh, I like the <laughs> rapid fire flicking of the switch there. It reminds me of being in the arcades playing Defender in my uh, misspent youth. There you go. Um, so, so it's there kind of cool to see some new 5150 designs coming from EVH in 2021 as well. We saw uh, over the last few years, we've seen some uh, of the striped versions. Um, but I yep. think this is the first time that we've seen some Neon solid colours. So we've got three solid colours and two burl top colours. Don't know if they'll be on the screen now for you. Maybe they will. Um, quite a lot of similar specs to the to the Wolfgang, other than the other than the obvious shape. So same um, Floyd Rose on mm -hmm. here, same direct mount pickups. Uh, obviously got the toggle switch in much the same yep. place. Uh, but we've but got same compound radius fretboard. I don't know how it. Rabir will be able to tell you whether is it more is it wider, more stratty feeling. Uh, I would say there's a bit more fatness to this neck compared to this one. Mm -hmm. Definitely, like just to hold. Uh, it's Larry. And and the debate, the uh, the uh, debate we've been having in this room was: uh, Can anyone remember Eddie using 
a kill switch on his guitars. Yeah, no. So maybe he did, and maybe it was just you know that that lesser known B side to Jump or something like that. Uh, but yeah, I actually <laughs> really like it though because it's so. Yeah, I mean, but really look, fast. Mr. B, uh, it's a great. Um, I must admit. Uh, I'm loving the fact that almost simultaneously we're seeing uh, EVH do the kind of some copies of the, the the Kramer that he played back in the day, and we're seeing Kramer bringing those guitars back out now. And it's really, again, it was such an iconic super strat of its time, mm. uh, and it's just kind of cool. And and you know, you don't have to be Larry and go pink if you don't want to. Although I probably would. I but probably would. Yeah, there's there's a there's a grey and a black one as well, as, and the two burl ones are quite traditional bursts as well. But hey. Come on, let's do go. it, repeat it. <laughs> let's not forget Literally, the... Literally, uh... before you give that guitar an organ... <laughs> So we know the kill switch works, but it's a lovely sounding guitar. Uh, anyway, let's move on. Gain. Anderton's t-shirt. Um, I mean, <laughs> a, if you're going to do a player. kill switch, yeah. that's how you do it. A that's big red you, button. That's where you put it, and that's the kind of button you use. None of this, like, don't put don't put a toggle switch down here or something like no, that. No, I like, agree. Have the button here. It makes it a lot easier to, to like, you know, it's got a great action. The one thing I do have to say, I wish it had an LED in it. If that lit oh, up, that'd be so sick. That'd probably be a relatively straightforward mod for a little, you know, someone like Pete could probably do that in the next five or 10 minutes. Yeah, you um, could probably fit that in there somehow. I think you could. That's the a worthy shout, mod. a laser coming yeah. out. Like, uh, what was the, oh, I'm gonna remember his name now. <laughs> anyway, right. <laughs> what I really wanna see on this LED, on this, sorry, that kill switch is a laser coming out. Like Aziz Ibrahim. Yeah, Aziz Ibrahim, cause he, do you ever see the video he did where he's got the gloves with the lasers on them? I so did. He's got like these fingerless gloves Didn't with Didn't he like, bring them lasers. to Andertons years ago? Did he bring that or he brought a guitar? He had some with kit with him that had lasers on it and stuff. I remember yeah. you and Rob interviewed him. Yes. Time yes. Ago. Anyway, God, there's a leap there, isn't it? From oh, Aziz to Eddie Van Halen, but yeah. hey. And back again. And back again. Um, this is my favourite because it plays really good and I feel like it says a bit more. This is understated. I like it. But the best thing about this is if you walk down to stage, you mm. clearly don't give a shit in the first place playing a guitar like this. No, it's, you know what, it's, it's, I think they'll each appeal. That for the traditionalist, because you know, who doesn't like a modified super strap? And then this is like, this is the epitome of Eddie going, yeah, but I've got this idea. And I think if we did the body shape like this and we did the thing like this and we changed this and we do the, you know, it's like, what do you, where do you want to go? Do you want to, do you want to feel like you've, you've bought into everything that Eddie wanted on a guitar? Or do you just want to take a slice of history and a bit of fun and, and a bit of, yeah, a bit of that. Um, so there we go. Look, that is our little EVH... Um, adventure. What do you call it? EVH adventure yeah. for the day. Um, thank you for watching. Dive on over to our social channels and join the guys from EVH. Uh, links below. Um, and um, I think that's what Pete was waving anyway. I think so. Uh, something like, oh, was, it, was it that or that? I couldn't see. Um, so... <laughs> um, okay. I've been the captain. <laughs> I've been Rubia. And we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> what was that ending? Fuck <laughs> off, Anderton. <laughs> oh, oh, my face hurts. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>